Now, one very good reason why we need to develop samadhi or practice samatha is because when we practice sati, eh, when we observe the mind, uh, when we are practicing vipassana, it is very difficult uh, to remain independent. It is very difficult uh, not to use the thinking faculty because we are so used to using the thinking mind uh, that it is not easy to remain indifferent, uh, equanimous. Uh. But in the Buddha's discourse, uh, the Buddha said, uh, the real practice of sati uh, is to watch the body or to observe the nature of the body, feelings, the mind, and reflect on Dhamma, but without uh, thoughts arising, without thoughts arising. The fact that thoughts arise often uh, is a source of problem for us. There is one sutta called the Saka Panha Sutta in the Diga Nikaya. In this sutta, the Saka Devaraja came to see the Buddha and he asked this question of the Buddha. He said, Lord, uh, men and devas, uh, they all long for peace and harmony. Yet, even though they long for peace and harmony, uh, there are quarrels, there are fights and all that uh, in the world. Why is that so? And the Buddha said, the reason is because of greed and jealousy. Because of greed and jealousy, yeah, people can't help but quarrel and fight with each other. Then Sakadeva Raja had to agree. Then he asked the Buddha, what is the cause for greed and jealousy? And the Buddha said, the cause for greed and jealousy is like and dislike. And what is the cause of like and dislike? The Buddha said, desire. And what is the cause of desire? The Buddha said, thinking. Thinking gives rise to desire. And then Sakadeva Raja asked, what is the cause of thinking? And the Buddha said, the tendency to proliferation of the mind. The tendency to pro proliferation of the mind means uh, one thought gives rise to ten thoughts. Ten thoughts give rise to a hundred thoughts. Uh, the tendency for the mind to multiply uh, the thinking. And what is the cause for the tendency of the mind to proliferate? Then the Buddha said there are two kinds of happiness. There is one kind of happiness due to thinking and pondering. There is another kind of happiness huh, that is without thinking and pondering. And the Buddha said the kind of happiness that is without thinking and pondering is the more superior, the more excellent of the two. So, you can see, this thinking, uh, this uh, happiness, uh, without thinking, uh, is a state of one-pointedness of mind, uh, more specifically in the second jhana and above. Uh. The second jhana is a state uh, where the thinking ceases. So, if a person can attain the second jhana uh, and experience the bliss uh, without thinking, uh, then the tendency of the mind to proliferate, uh, to think, uh, is stopped. Uh. Otherwise, for most people, uh, the tendency uh, to think uh, is very strong. That is why many people, uh, even when they are not doing anything, uh, they tend to daydream. How nice if I were to go on a holiday. How nice if this were to happen. Uh, you start to fantasize. Uh. We like to imagine and because of this tendency, you find when we go to sleep, we start dreaming. All over the world, we are dreaming. So, it is in order to stop this tendency of the mind to think that we practice uh, samatha. And that is why we try to develop samadhi. So when we have the ability uh, to develop the one-pointedness of mind, the samadhi, uh, and attain the happiness uh, without thinking, uh, 
then uh, we have stopped this tendency of the mind to prolate depths uh, to the observation.